Ladies and gentlemen, I got to minimize that. That's none of y'all business. Uh, sorry, what you guys don't know, and I got to close this off too. I was just getting ready to go lay down because this is Wednesday, the longest day, and I got to take a break. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past week, and I wasn't interested in doing a video in the past week, but I did do a video, and I talked about FS Globo and the fact that they're coming after the individual claiming that he committed fraud and they're telling the people that they're not going to get all their money when they got all $9 billion back. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys, you need to see a hostile takeover when you are observing it. The other thing is I talked about COVID. And because I talked about COVID, I used the V word that everybody's calling the thang dang and all of that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just called a vaccine. Okay, I'm not giving people advice as to do this or do that. That's not how this works. I don't give medical advice. I won't tell you to do something or not do something medically. It's not my job. I'm always going to tell you, do your own homework and your own research. You are supposed to be responsible. But they took down the video. They said that because I was giving misinformation. Total, I'm not giving misinformation. I waited a week, waited until after they reinstated the account, and then I appealed. And I told them, because I went back and listened to what I said, because I wasn't preparing that. You guys see this stuff as lies. So I went back and listened to what I said, and all I said was exactly what you just heard me say. I'm not doing this to throw my hand in their face and say, aha, I got around you. I'm not calling it the dang dang or anything like that. It's not taboo. Man, it's not a bad word. Vaccine, it doesn't hurt nobody. The word doesn't kill anyone. It's a word. Their system is designed to catch videos when people use the term vaccine. But it was one of these ignorant people who watched my videos who decided to report the video as if I was giving misinformation. Because in their ignorant mind, something was wrong with that. Ladies and gentlemen, there was nothing wrong with talking about vaccines before COVID. There's nothing wrong with talking about vaccines afterwards. People have been talking about vaccines for years. The CDC, the H, WHO, who? WHO, who? WHO, okay? People have been talking about it for years. There's nothing wrong with the word. Now, I agree Pay attention to what I'm saying. I agree with you two. I'm not joking. I agree with them that they have such a policy. I think these social media networks have gotten off the chain. People being allowed to say everything and anything, that's not what the First Amendment is saying when it says freedom of speech. Yes, you have the right to your opinion, freedom of speech, but you don't have the right to freely express yourself when you know that it could have a particular result which could lead to harming another person. Do you understand? That's a violation of common law. You cannot do something knowingly and intentionally that could lead to the physical harm or mental harm of another person. You just violated the law. I know, I know, I know you're going to want to argue about that because you are a genius and you understand more about the law than I ever could. As a matter of fact, even now you're thinking that, well, and you're trying to argue with yourself, trying to justify yourself, but you can't point to a single law, and I'm not talking about no statute. You can't point to a single law that says that you have the right to say whatever you want to say. Go ahead. There is no such law. That's why there have always been restrictions. That's why you can't walk into a crowded theater and yell fire. Why? Because of the fact that it could cause injury to another person. Pay attention. Injury and our harm. You don't have freedom of speech. You never did. That's why the Supreme Court had to come to that conclusion, because that was the intent behind the freedom of speech in the first place, the right to bear arms. You have the right to bear arms to defend yourself. That doesn't go away with the 
so-called taking away of one's rights by putting them incarcerated. Go back and look at the 13th Amendment. Those of you who want to bear arms, I don't agree with bearing arms. I don't have a gun, don't want a gun. Don't want to hold one, don't want to shoot one. I have no desire for guns. But the rest of you who feel you need a gun because you want to be out there in the wild, wild west, okay? You feel that you need to come from Oaktown, 129th Street, okay? You want to be a convict. So go ahead and carry your gun when you are released from prison and you are no longer on probation under that contract that you signed. Because the Second Amendment gives you the right to bear arms. The 13th Amendment says that you have your freedom and voluntary servitude except as punishment for a crime. Once you have been punished for that crime, they cannot then add another punishment to the crime. That's double jeopardy. I know, I know, I know. Why hasn't anybody ever looked at the 13th Amendment and said, wait a minute, I'm not a prisoner anymore. I'm not on probation. You don't have a right to take away my rights. Taking away your rights, you don't have to apply to get your rights back. Ladies and gentlemen, these are secured rights. This is not something you have to beg somebody for. Yes, you can lose your rights if you go to jail because that's voluntary servitude. They call it involuntary servitude, but it's not involuntary. When you commit a crime, you're voluntarily agreeing that if you get caught, <laughs> you can go to jail. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't just do law. I understand the reason for the law in the first place. I don't do statutes. Statutes have always been stupid to me. Statutes were never law. They contradict the law. So, as I said, I agree with YouTube. No, I'm not doing this because YouTube asked me to do something. I'm not trying to kiss up to YouTube. Y'all know how much I hate YouTube. I hate Google. You know how much I hate the company. However, the policy I think is good. I really do agree with it because too many people have been injured trying stuff and not doing stuff. There are too many people who regret that they didn't do this or didn't do that and it didn't save their lives. There are a lot of people who regret the fact that they did not stop smoking and they're dead. I promise you, my mother is one such person. Okay? Only when it was getting to the point where it was too late did she actively try and try and try. But prior to that, she tried, gave up, tried, gave up, tried, gave up, tried, gave up. Why? Because cigarettes have over 4,000 chemicals in it designed to attract every single quote-unquote genome out there. That's, they're designed for that, ladies and gentlemen. If you were smoking regular tobacco, you would have no desire to smoke it again tomorrow. They have to put chemicals in there, making you want to smoke more. And they keep doing it every single year. Why do you think they give them an ex so-called exception in the law? Well, you got to be 18. No, you. They, nobody can cause harm intentionally in the United States. Don't you understand? That's what we just talked about. The government cannot give someone a license to cause harm in the United States. They don't have the authority. They know Cigarettes are dangerous. They know they cause cancer, and then they still let them sell that bull on the street in these stores. They make a profit off of it. The government taxes it. They know it's deadly. So how come nobody has brought a suit against the tobacco companies and the United States? Y'all just got to understand. Start hitting them right there. Man where it brings them to their knees and the shoulder, you better believe it. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I need all of y'all to pay attention. Our world is headed for some trouble. You can already see it now, the carjackings, the shootings, the people being shot out of nowhere. To this day, it happened three weeks ago. A young man in New York, about 70-some years old, was walking down the street in a suit, dapper. I mean, he was stepping out just a regular morning. Nobody else was on the street. 
and a guy in a motorcycle, a little, a little bike, drove around the city just shooting at people randomly. Shot him in the back, ladies and gentlemen. Shot this man in the back. The security cameras caught the incident. And I literally, literally said he died alone. There was nobody there to help him. Then I realized, see, I, I have a firm belief in Jehovah, the God that I serve. And I said, you know what? He didn't die alone. I said, Jehovah, you were there. A lot of people who don't believe in Jehovah, it doesn't matter to me what you believe. But what I can tell you is I believe, and that's all that counts in my world, because that's the only world I live in. I don't live in your world. You live in your world. That's your reality. But in my reality, Jehovah has proven himself to be my God. Jehovah has saved my life on more than nine occasions when I should have been dead. Or pretty close there, too, being hit by somebody in an Impala 1964 Chevy at 65 miles an hour while I am going in a completely different direction, and I survived that. No seatbelt or nothing. Survived. Walked away. I should have been dead. Had I not hit my brakes prematurely, because something said, <laughs> something's coming, if I had not been hitting my brakes, that fool would have hit me and T-boned my vehicle. I would not have survived that incident. So, I told you guys about all the other times. I'm still here. Of course I believe in the God that I serve, because that's the one I go to whenever I'm in trouble. You only go to him when you're in trouble? Look here. That ain't the type of relationship he and I got. I talk to my God all the time. So, when a young man got shot, pay attention I talk to my God all the time. I said, no, he did not die alone. Comma, Jehovah, you were there. Now, you hear me say things like comma all the time because I'm always using the speech recognition. But pay attention. That's what I said. Jehovah, you were there. And Jehovah's son promises to be there in the resurrection when they wake. He's the one who gives the command. John, the fifth chapter, verse 28 and 29. So, with that being said, it's it's return visits, people. <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> I'm counting my time. Anyway, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to let you guys go. And I just, you know, I'm listening to the staple singers in my ear from my cell phone while I'm doing this video. You guys don't get to hear the music, but I get to hear my music. I might do that from now on because for some people it's a little bit easier and you see, I'm not singing while the song is on because it's on real faint in my background, but that was Respect Yourself by the Staple Singers. And this is iHeart Radio. Not a single commercial. Not heard a single commercial on this iHeart Radio because I went to a particular website. It's called Up to Down. U P T O D O W N dot com. And I downloaded iHeart Radio for my Android phone. No commercials. Oh, God, you know how much I can't stand some commercials. And because I already had an account, I, I don't, it's not a paid account, it's a free account. But because I already had the free account, I already had my pay, playlist already done. So there's like a thousand songs that will play on my playlist and I ain't got to worry about it. All right. I'm just saying prepare yourself, people. Now, we're, doing, we're still doing this cryptocurrency. And we're... Binance is the problem. Binance and the SEC. So I joined that lawsuit, as I told many of you, and it is having its desired effect, even as of today, with the Attorney General coming at Binance, which is going to force them eventually to side up with us, because they'll, they're better off siding with us than they are siding with the SEC. If they had the people's backing, the SEC would have no standing, because the SEC doesn't represent the people. The people are going after the SEC as everybody's starting to realize the SEC making all those hundreds of millions of dollars and none of it going back to the people, the SEC, they'll be better off siding with us, but they ain't. They ain't. And they, their, their attorneys watch my videos, people. But they're going to be stubborn, and they're going to be stubborn, and they're going to be stubborn, and they're going to be stupid. I already told them they keep messing with me. I'm going to mess back. So right now, they got to turn over papers. This is Binance we're talking about. Don't make me have to have you turn over all of your financials because I will get you to turn over all of your financials. And then we'll talk about you freezing people's accounts. 
and we'll talk about your keeping keys. And then we'll go after not your coin, not your crypto, or not your key, not your crypto. We're going to take care of that problem. So to make this easier, people don't have access to their wallet, y'all going to make that possible. Not the whole thing. 40 to 50% for now is fine. But you are going to give people access to their wallets, whether you want to or not. That I guarantee you, because I ain't going nowhere. The rest of you, thank you for allowing me to take the time to talk about these things. Ladies and gentlemen, we have programs that we're starting and we're getting ready to get done. Stay tuned, please. Have a good day, everybody. Take care of y'all selves. I was gone. <laughs>